Welcome back to Advanced Lazy Gamer here. Making a sliding door means creating a poly object. It's not hugely difficult to set up everything, but you need to have your mind set on the task or it, or it can get derailed fairly quickly. It would also take some time, and as of right now, there are no real shortcuts that I am aware of. So I will show you how to make one once, and I will also upload a series of prefab sliding doors that might help you in the future. A poly object door has no sound as standard. I will add a sound to it, but that will be a separate video. Let's get started. Before we start, I'm just going to add another custom texture to uh, the map because I made the art ceiling and I wanted to add an um, arc texture for the door. You will uh, you will get it in a moment. Let's use import file for once, shall we? Um, they are not there. But rather. here for some reason that's all right isn't it let's move it up to be under our texture file like we added our skybox earlier and then we will uh, go to graphics and uh, optimize it. Once again, this may take some time. Not much, but that's fine. We will need to add it to patch table. And we will need to add it to textures. is now here under patch table and under textures let us just copy this and add it here so it scales correctly like all my other um, textures that's mine by the way um, they need to be scaled down to fit in the game Make sure to save everything. Save all, just in case. This should now be done. We can add it in the game, uh, or, uh, the builder. Let's close it all down and let's get started. So I am going to make the door be here which is fine but we are not going to add the door in here we will need to make separate area for the poly object that will do I'm gonna Move it slightly. Inside that area, I'm going to make two more um, sectors. Just make a note that they need to be the size of the area it is to cover. So one, two, three, four, it needs to be, I'm going to make a split door. You can make a long door that slides, but I want to have a split door. Why do things by half measures, eh? 
So let's make two doors separated here, or two sectors rather to start with. We can minimize this slightly. It doesn't need to be that big. Let's give it a bit of space, like so. Now, these sectors are going to be voids, like so. So let's set them up like the doors we want them to be. For instance, we need some textures. Let's see if we can find my custom textures, which should be here. Should, should we use the skybox? Nah. Okay. That's just about right. I can copy it and put it there. And then we'll add it there. We will need to Change it slightly so that we have the right side. Mm. Let's see, copy that how it. There we go. No, it is correct now. And then we add our uh, side textures, which should be doors. I'll use those. For this side, it doesn't really matter, you're not gonna see it, but let's add texture to it just in case. That's how it's gonna look in game. So that's our basic setup. Now let's go add some line def actions. Now we are going to need two sets of line def actions one on the end lines and one on each of these. Let's start with these. We're going to need a poly, 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 poly objects. Door slide for that one. Repeatable action and player use. Now we need a poly object number. In this first case, we can just make a one since this is our first poly object number. Note, however, that this needs to be. Um, another number. There, they also need to be paired. Well, but we'll uh, get to that. I want it to be fast. In this case, that's standard. <laughs> movement, movement distance is um, how far it moves. I want to move that back by two, so it will get a lip. This should be a 64, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, so I don't need to change it much. And a delay of three seconds as normal. 
movement angle is important. This one is going to slide down that way. So we'll set it to go like so. That's the number 192. You could set it if you remember it. And that's really all we need for this. We are going to do the same thing with this one. It's going to be 8 poly object number 2. Movement angle is going to be north 64. We're going to have the same distance, so 62, and the delay is going to be the same, and of course, repeatable, and press use. Now we have this one. This one is going to be poly object start line. This is where it starts, as it were. Poly object's number is 1. Mirror poly object number is 2 for this one. And we can add a sound number, but we'll cover that in uh, the second part, the next video. That should be it, and then we'll just add one here. Poly object number two, mirror number is one because that's this one, and we don't have a sound yet, so we'll ignore it. That's really it for um, for our line of actions. Now we'll need to add some anchor points and uh, starting lines. For the next bit, we need to go into thing mode. And we're going to add some anchor points here. Poly object anchor. Which is there. Now this needs to be the same number as the thing it's going to move. So in this case, it needs to be angle 2. I wonder... Oh, no, it didn't change. But it is correct, it needs to have... Rotation angle of two, it is the number it needs to be. Oh, uh, this, this does, this needs to be one. And then we need to get a corresponding start point here and here. And it needs to be here. It can't be here or here because then it will be off. It needs to intersect this line. I will set poly object start spot. And that too needs to be one to correspond with the anchor. Likewise, this needs to be 2 to correspond to this anchor. That really is all we need for that. And that is really the setup we need to make a door. Once we go into game, the door should appear here. And we should be able to open and close it. This 
So this has been your host, the Lazy Gamer. Logging off. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.